senators have already voted and there are still thousands more who won't cast their ballot until election day tomorrow. No matter when we're all voting, we will all be using the ranked choice voting system. It can be a little confusing for some. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell joins us live this morning with a refresher on how ranked choice voting works. Alex? Hi, Lindsay. Good morning. In this election year, Maine becomes the first state in the nation to use ranked choice voting in a presidential election. Maine voters approved the system in 2016 and has used it in elections since then. But if you're still wondering how it works, here are some key things to know about ranked choice voting. We have a couple of ranked choice elections being offered up to the voters this fall, including the race for president of the United States, where there's a five way race and the four way race for U.S. Senate. Ranked choice voting. It's an election system in which a voter can rank candidates in order of preference. At least three candidates are needed for ranked choice voting to work, and a winner is determined through elimination rounds until a candidate has more than 50 percent of the votes. So if a candidate gets a clear majority on election night, we're done. Here's how that would happen. Say we have four candidates running, A, B, C, and D. After all votes are submitted, your first choice is tabulated. Let's say the results have candidate B with the most votes at 52%. This means candidate B wins and the process is over. But if that doesn't happen, well, then we're going to announce that we're going to go to rankings. If no candidate gets more than 50% of the vote, then we go to round two. First, we eliminate the least voted for candidate, in this case, candidate C. The votes are now counted again, but this time we count the candidate C supporters ranked second. But a candidate isn't over 50% yet, so we go to round three. Candidate D gets eliminated. Now we count candidate C supporters third choice and candidate D supporters second preferred choice. And it shows more voters prefer candidate A, which is now our winning candidate. One of the questions that we get most frequently from voters is do they have to rank choices or can they just select one candidate? And the answer is absolutely yes. You can just vote for one candidate. Now, if you still need a little more information about ranked choice voting, you can head over to our website and mobile app. Live in studio this morning, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.